Hello everybody, my name is NKB and welcome to The Rats and the Walls, a game which was made and inspired by a HP Lovecraft novel called The Rats and the Walls. Uh, I haven't actually read anything about HP Lovecraft and I feel like I should because I play a lot of this stuff or a lot of people, a lot of games that people have made inspired from this stuff. And actually it's really interesting to read about, so I think I should. Anyway, we're going to get into it. I've been researching the history of the House of Delaporte for five years before I decided to visit them personally. It was a rainy moody day when I finally arrived at my far relative's mansion. Firstly, I thought that house was abandoned, but when I knocked on the door, the old man opened it. He said he was Abner Delapore, the last of the House of Delapore, because he hasn't had any descendants. He had denied to answer other, any other questions, but allowed me to stay in his house for one night. I didn't imagine how horrifying the following events would be. Would be! Would make more sense than will be. Can I... Alright, I gotta use the arrow keys. My valise! Is that what, I don't know. Just a little part of my stuff. Research reports, medical supplies, toiletries, and a few old books. Cool! This is already really interesting. The walls are alive with nauseous sound. The vermilion slithering of ravenous rats. These creatures are engaged in one stupendous migration from inconceivable heights to some depth conceivably or inconceivably below. Okay. Explore the house then. It's really simple actually, the gameplay is really simple. Uh, what about the person who lives here? What if I just walk in on him? Oh, wouldn't well, great. It's empty. Well, it would be for plot reasons, bedcloths. Pile of dirty bedcloths, it has been lying here for months. Okay. Out back out we go. Do I get to see the rats behind the walls? Rats in the walls? Face. Ceramic face covered with dust. Do these games here. Oh. It's locked. These games just go around and click and read everything. Oh, that's a nice painting there. A duplicate of Francisco Goya's Witch's Sabbath. Pretty frightening image. You know what fuck you'd say? Okay. So, guess I just go downstairs then. Okay, can I... Can I... Oh, I just have to press the down key. Right. So I just go throughout the whole house and just have a look. There's a hole in the wall and that's where the rats come from. Seems this door leads to a backyard. Not going to open it? Nope, okay. No, oh, that was different. It's too dark, I can't see anything. I need to light this room. Okay. I could see pretty well in there, but you know. I'm sorry if this seems like really, really small. Not my fault. Is that a painting of a naked person? Goy is the nude. Yeah, Maja, Maha. Interesting choice. I know, right? Bookshelves. There's an empty place for a book. Old dusty mirror. Nobody here cares about cleanliness. Nope. I'm not going to leave. Oh, so we're. Oh, we could leave if we want to. That means I'm about to go into the cellar. It takes quite a while to walk from one end of the room to the other. Down. Okay then. Hatch pretty heavy. I need something to open it. You got a shovel there. Who's a shovel? Ah, Kramer's the witch hammer. Looks useful. All right, so we're gonna go put this in the hole of the bookcase. I'm guessing. Yes. Hobble on over. <gasps> a secret passage with a painting of... The picture is pretty strange. It seems it could be moved. That's it. The key's hidden behind it. Oh. The key. The key. Where does the key lead to? Okay. 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 Maybe it's to this? Maybe... Nope. Hmm. Oh wait, there was a door up here that needed a key, wasn't there? Ah, okay. Creepy painting. I still have my fingers on the WASD keys, even though... I don't... Oh, there's blood! Oh my god. All these things covered in blood, what happened here? I don't know! I 
kerosene lamp. I think I can use it. Okay. That's nice. Something smashed. Don't know what though. Am I gonna find it smashed? Am I gonna find the something? I've got a lamp so I can use it in here now. You've got a lamp! You just pulled out the lamp! What are you doing? You've got your lamp right there. Oh my god. Okay then. Guess the lamp needs fuel? There's the bottle. Okay, maybe... Yeah, bottle of kerosene. There we go. See? I know what I'm doing. So what's smashed? Ah, oh, the walking kind of sounds like a heartbeat. Is that a clue? Is that something I should be worried about? Uh... Crowbar? think it'll be useful. Yes, it will. It'll help me unlock the hatch downstairs to the hatch that goes down. Oh, wait. It's downstairs. So there's like a hatch. There's like a cellar to a cellar. Double cellar. Let's go to the double cellar. See what happens. It's locked. Am I on a ship? Like a, like a boat? Prison cell, smelling with odor of decayed death. A rotten corpse of a man lies here. There is a key in its hands. Oh, great! I thought this was going to be about rats. A hard wooden gate. There are no mechanisms like door handles or keyholes. It seems that the gate must be open from another place. There's an iron pipe among bones. Seems it's part of a mechanism or something like that. Okay. Guess I found the mechanism. Okay, did that open the door? Okay. Maybe not. Can I open? Oh, it opened. Oh. Can I not get the key? Oh, I think I've already got the key. Okay, then. That opens the first door, which was locked, right? Yeah. Okay, and another lever. Anything else in here? No. Okay, that means the big door, the big gate thing is opened. Which is fun. Oh. Just a smidge. Okay. A stone altar decorated with dadal carving. There are some brown stains on its surface which indicate its connection with fire. Probably burnt offerings. Air is coming in due to... Uh, dub I can't... Indubitably from the crevice between the floor and altar. It seems that it can be moved. Move it then. Ah, uh, Maybe not. It was just leave. <laughs> okay. Was that a ghostly array of human or semi-human -bo semi bones? The skulls denote nothing short of utter idiocy, cretinism, or primitive something. Why did that collapse? I don't trust it in here now. Where am I? Am I in a cave? Okay. Goodness. A twillet grotto of enormous height. Subterraneous world of limitless mystery and horrible suggestion. There are buildings and other architectural remains among a huge amount of bones. All the bones are gnawed, mostly by rats, but somewhat by others of a half-human drove. Mixed with them are many tiny bones of rats, fallen members of a lethal army which closed the ancient epic. Okay, that's very uh, poetic of you. Carry on. Yeah. There is a skeleton in this cell. This one's not so primitive as others. Wait. There is a seal ring with my own coat of arms on its bony finger. That looks like it's... God, 
Those carrion black pits of sword picked bones and open skulls. Those nightmare chasms are choked of the pit far pithecanthropoid. Celtic, Roman, and English bones of countless unhallowed centuries. Well, that was a big word. Different carvings. The walls are abounded with inscriptions, familiar to the antiquarians who have repeatedly explored the place. Things like P. Geta, Prop, Temp, Donna, and Praek versus Pontificius. Oh, I'm not moving anymore. Those rats don't sound friendly. Well, at least I think they're rats. It was the eldritch scurrying of those fiend-born rats determined to lead me on into a, leave me on into those grinning caverns of Earth's center, where Nyaroth Tep howls blindly into the piping of two amorphous idiot flute players. My kerosene lamp expired, but I still ran. I heard voices and yells and echoes. But above all, there gently rose that impetuous, insidious, scurrying, gently rising, rising as a stiff, bloated corpse gently rises above an oily river that flows under endless onyx bridges to a black, putrid sea. They found me in the blackness after three hours. They shut me into this barred room at Hanwell with, at Hanwell with fearful whispers about my heredity and experiences. They're trying, too, to suppress most of the facts concerning the Priory. They must know it was the rest living, scaring rats with scampering or something. I didn't get to read that. No! They must know it was the rats. The slithering, scurrying rats whose scampering will never let me sleep. The daemon rats that race behind the padding in this room and beckon me down to greater horrors than I have ever known. The rats they can never hear. The rats. The rats in the wall. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching that. That was very interesting. Uh, I might, I'm gonna have to start reading H.P. Lovecraft stuff because it's very interesting. It's kind of got that creepy sense of it. Like I played one before. I think it was the Strange Old Man or something. It was great. I loved it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, click like. Hated it, click dislike. Want to see more videos? Make sure to subscribe. I've been NKB Dude, and until next time, goodbye.